My name is Lizeth Hernandez. I'm 25 years old and I'm a lesbian. My entire life I've known that I was gay. I didn't know what the term was called or what the feeling was called that I felt. I remember being in elementary school and truly getting jealous whenever my best friend who was a woman would say that she has a boyfriend. I remember at one point making her choose between me or him. Me as a best friend or him as a boyfriend. I didn't really come out until I got into high school and I ended up getting in a long distance relationship with a girl. I decided to tell my parents one morning in the morning and I woke her up, I went to her room and I said, Mom, I need to tell you something. And I remember it being the scariest feeling ever. I was like, I think I'm gay, Mom. And I could tell she didn't know how to handle it. She just said, oh, like, it's okay, it's okay, just get ready for school. And we'll talk about it when you come back. I remember getting home and having an intervention with my family. My parents got home early. My mom, dad, my sister, they sat me on the couch. And they started saying a lot of hateful stuff. And it's, I think, the first time I had ever experienced hate. After that, um, I got all my phones taken away, tablets, computers, everything. And I remember I had art hanging in my room. Art that I had painted. And the next day going to school and coming back and all of it getting taken down. I come back, there's white sheets on the bed, my entire room is cleaned out, and now I'm getting treated like, like I'm in a ward or something. I remember that lasting for months. I remember taking long showers and my parents knocking on the door making sure that I wasn't dead. I think there was a point where it did get hard. But, you know, I never wanted to give up. It wasn't until one day that I had a conversation with my sister because she needed me as a sister. And she was like, hey, I just need to talk to you. Like, I miss you. So I sit there and listen. To and I give her advice. And I'm like, I'm always going to love you. I'm always going to be your sister. And she takes a moment and she's like, I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the things that I've said. I'm sorry for not understanding you. She was like, from this moment forward, I promise to love you unconditionally. To take the time to understand you. Because you are my sister and I'm going to love you no matter what. From that moment, I gained so much confidence back because having support from a family was probably all I needed. And I remember after that, just, you know, that cloud of darkness slowly moving away. And I remember just finally being able to tell my mom one day, Hey mom. I'm a lesbian. And little by little, I started telling her, Hey mom, I'm not changing. This is who I am. Hey mom, I like girls. And I was saying it maybe not even for her. I was saying it for myself. Saying it out loud was empowering. Little by little, my mom started asking me questions. You know, curious questions. Well... When did you know you were gay? And I would answer them. It's a feeling I've always known I was gay since I was young. And she was like, well, 
you've never slept with a guy, so how do you know you're gay? Well, mom, the same as you. You've never slept with a woman. How do you know you're not gay? And whenever you ask these questions back, it's like a moment of realization of, oh, well, I don't need to sleep with a girl to know I'm a lesbian. I'm not. Exactly. Just because being in a hetero relationship is so normalized doesn't mean that everybody wants to be in a hetero relationship. I don't have to experience sleeping with a man to know that I don't want to be with a man. I don't need to sleep with a man to reassure that I'm a lesbian. I am a lesbian. I cannot help it. This is who I am. I was born this way. I haven't experienced what I experienced yesterday since high school. As some of you guys may know, I am engaged. I have kept my life very private because I know how the world can be. I know how tough social media can be. I had a conversation last night and my best friend said that she won't be coming to the wedding. My partner and I asked why and she said because her religion doesn't support it. And I said, okay, can you skip the ceremony and still come to the like the reception, the dancing, even after she said that. And she was like, no, I can't because my Bible says I can't support that. And I said, and by that you mean what? Lesbians, homosexuality, I cannot support homosexuality. If you're not coming to the wedding, then you're right, you don't support who I am as a person. We can't be friends. Our views do not align right now because I'm not changing. And she firmly believes that gay people choose to be gay. And I think that was extremely hard to hear because it's frightening to think that there are people with that mindset that we chose to be gay. If I could choose an easier life, I would. But I can't because it is not a choice. I didn't choose this. My friendship ended and I am extremely happy that I'm engaged to a woman. I'm extremely happy that I get to be here this lifetime and be able to love unconditionally because I have never felt the love that I feel for my partner. And I've realized that this ring is not only a symbol of our love, but it is a symbol to keep fighting for my rights. And it is a symbol that this fight is not over yet. And that wedding day is a symbol that we are not going anywhere. We're here and we're going to stay. We're not going to change.